Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome. So wonderful. We had a chat before class. We've got some good laughs going. We're in the right energy for Shvadishtana Chakra. Bring your hands into prayer. Bow your heads to your hearts. And just take a couple of lovely, long, slow, deep inhales and exhales. Get yourself situated on your mat, feeling this moment in time. And breathing into your second chakra, Shvadistana. Shvadistana actually means my, Shva means my or my own. And Astana means um, abode or seat. So what is your abode? What is your energy inside of you? What do you want to resonate with? Because this is the chakra of manifestation. This is the chakra of flow. This is the, the chakra of spontaneity, of creativity, of procreation. Babies are born in this chakra. It's right down here in our very, very, very base, in our whole uh, pelvic area. Breathe into it and just sense it. The color is orange. So I'm wearing a lot of orange today, just really bringing in the energy of this chakra. The energy and the vibration is that of water, so flow, so get that in awareness. So flowing, orange, creative, spontaneous, manifesting, and the, and the Fisher mantra is VAM, va 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 boom VAM. So turn your corners of your mouth up and let's have some fun with the chakra. Let's really allow it to find all its creative expression today and slowly open your eyes. So you know the chakras spin both ways, backwards and forwards. So this chakra is right down here, right, right, right at the very bottom of the belly, right, right, right here in this pelvic basin. And the back of it is the sacrum. So there's those fused kind of um, energy area here, right at the base of the spine. So we couldn't actually balance Muladhara because it was in the perineum. But this one, we, and we did balance Muladhara in using the four corners. So this one here, we want to get this awareness. So let's take our feet out so that we've got more space. And you want to get this, maybe I should sit this way. You want to get this awareness of coming forward and then back. So you're moving this area here, just this area. And you're getting an awareness that as you come forward, your energy, your chakra is opening forward. As you come back, the chakra is going backwards. And then find the balance between the two. So you're kind of hinging it on and then find your four corners and feel that it's really above your root chakra. And then just do that again. Feel you take it off your root chakra, you take it off your four corners. You bring it back, you take it off your four corners when you come forward, and then you find your four corners and you find this beautiful awareness of the chakra right here. The energy of this chakra is Lakshmi. Om Shrim Shrim Lakshmi Namaha. We've got a little Lakshmi here in the corner. She sits on a magnificent lotus. She is the goddess of abundance. Abundance in all things. She's really beautiful. Um, paintings of her are in beautiful bright colors. Generally a lot of pink, a lot of orange, a lot of yellow. Beautiful, beautiful fuchsias. So she's this energy of abundance. Scarcity happens when we stop our creativity. So you really want to feel now the sense of beautiful creativity running through you. This is the chakra that allows you to express all that was, is within you. This is the chakra that holds you back when you are stumped in old belief systems that keep you mired in, in sadness, depression, illusion that this is what it all is. This is the chakra that allows you to escape that and then gently come forward. Now balance it. So feel that it's balanced between the front and the back and just hold it here and breathe and smile. So it's a wonderful journey today into the chakra. It's a journey of joy. Va va vam. Va va vam. Va va vam. It is also your sexual chakra. It's your chakra where all of creation happens. All of creation. 
and the water energy is huge guys um we at least there are a lot of different a lot of different people say um different percentages of water in our body but let's say minimum of 75 percent it's definitely higher than that but let's say at least 75 percent that's the majority of our whole being that is water and then slowly come up the yantra or the shape of this chakra is a crescent moon so the, the the two hip bones right here are the tops of this crescent moon that run around now stretch your legs out we know bring your hands behind you we know that the moon affects the waters it affects the tides we know that the moon affects our energy fields that's where the word lunatics come from and we know that water is a hugely emotional sign and we know the, the Japanese guy did a beautiful, I can't remember his name now, but he did a beautiful video and a beautiful series and a book on how we can affect the waters around us and within us. So how much positivity and blah, blah, boom you bring in is really about how you open this chakra and allow yourself to create in life. Take your right foot over your left, lift your chest. Now you're going to lift your tushies and you're going to roll and you're going to squeeze deep into that right at the base of the belly. So you really want to feel that you're getting right deep there into the base of the belly. And just breathe. Come back. Change the cross of your feet and go to the other side. And right there into the base of the belly. Squeeze. Nice. Come back. Open into your comfortable seated position. Take your hand out to the side. So this whole area here, this whole lower area here, into the side of the hips, right deep into the belly, is where we find Shvadisthana, the your own abode, your own seat, your own creative energy. Bring your hand onto your hip and bring your arm up and over. So when you stretch through the sides of the body, you actually release this area quite a lot and you can feel that. Now let's bounce, just let's bounce, gentle bounces, so that you're getting a sense of flow through your body. You also allow your body to let go of any holding. You want flow. The chakra is about flowing through life. It's about not holding onto anything. It's about allowing life to flow through you. One of the most profound statements that Eckhart Tolle in my mind ever made was, we do not flow through life. Life flows through us. So making ourselves this empty vessel, full of abundance, or shrim shrim lakshmi e namaha, and then slowly release and just feel how one side feels. So this is your own abode, your body. What do you want your body to resonate? What energy do you want to bring into your body? What vibrational energy? We were talking with Schumann's yesterday. And so this is really about what are you, what kind of, kind of joy, spontaneity, creativity. And the more you tune into that, and let's bounce on this side, the more you're going to vibrate and the more you, things are going to happen in your life. You're going to see artists use this energy a lot, singers, creators. So writers this and but it does it's not only for them it's for everyone to have that that we all have this creative force within us so tune into it tune into those emotions tune into this vam vam energy and then slowly come back okay change the cross of your feet and we're going to do it as a movement rock from side to side okay Roll over, roll over, roll over, roll over. Keep going, guys, and enjoy. Just really enjoy. Feel the sense of opening. Good. And then release. I'm just opening these a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with the twist. Big inhale, exhale, twist. Now, we want to focus completely in on Shvadisthana Chakra. So squeeze into there, inhale up, exhale, squeeze. Inhale up, exhale, squeeze. Inhale up, exhale, squeeze. Good. 
come back to your seated position and now again think of this whole area so we want as much movement as flu much fluidity in this area as possible inhale bring just the belly forward the chest is going to come forward anyway but i want you to concentrate on the belly squeeze this is where Uriyana Bandha comes, tucking it up and under. Inhale, forward. So when we're working with the heart, we think of the heart energy. Now we're really thinking of this second chakra energy, sacral chakra. Breathe. Keep going. Good. And then release and come forward onto your hands and knees. So again, we're going to do this cat cows, and it's the loveliest way to get into it. It's the real big pelvic tilt. So when you're lying on your back and you're doing those pelvic tilts, think of that now as you move into the second chakra area. So you drop and you lift, and you drop and you lift, and you don't worry about your chest. It's just your second chakra. So just really do those pelvic tilts, squeeze up and under, use your bundles, squeeze, now you can feel that you're balancing. So you bring the chakra forward, you bring the chakra back. You bring the chakra forward, you bring the chakra back. Then come to balance, total balance. Lift your left leg, lift your right arm and stretch. Use your belly. Keep using Uriyana Bandha, strengthening it. Breathe and then release. Go again. Keep the, um, see, I'm not moving the shoulders. I'm just moving the belly. So really, really getting into that lower belly. It's the lower belly. You want to feel right deep into that lower belly. Moving it. So balancing it, hinging it. So you're hinging the chakra. You're working on hinging it. And as you're working on hinging it, you're bringing into a lot of movement into it without even realizing. Then find where it is even in the front, even in the back. Lift your right leg and your left arm. Stretch. Breathe, guys. Nice, and then slowly come back. Come back into child's pose and have your knees together and just feel how the belly feels. So just have this awareness of the belly and how it feels in child's pose. Breathe into it. So my shirt is, what's the second chakra shirt? So I'm glad I'm able to take this off so that it can make its presence known. Okay. All right, and then slowly come back up. Bring your knees out, your big toes touching, and now push back and feel the difference, guys. There's immediately, the more open our inner thighs are, the more you can feel that openness through second chakra. It's also an ability to draw the Kundalini energy, the energy of creation, which gets stuck in the first and second chakra. The serpent wraps itself three and a half or 3.147 pi times around the first and second chakra. When you begin to open the second chakra, you let go. It's a deep letting go and moving into that stream, allowing that stream of life. You can't change the weather. You can't change things that happen around you. You can't make the world what you want it to be. The world is what the world is. Like Michael Singer says, it's been here for 13 billion odd years or more. We're not going to change it with how we want to see it because we don't like it to be cold today, so therefore we're going to not enjoy that. We've got to look at it and allow this cold world, or whatever it is, this lockdown world, to flow through us. Not judging. Allowing it. It is what it is. So, Shvadi Stana Chakra is it is what it is. Release, let go, flow, and then slowly come back up again. Good. So we're going to do a gentle flow. We're going to keep your big toes touching your knees apart. We're going to inhale into cat, exhale, push back into child's pose. You're going to inhale forward. You're not going to come all the way forward, but you've got your feet open. Push, open your, your feet wide and go into wide-legged down dog. Inhale, drop your knees, bring your big toes to touch and push back. Inhale, come a little bit more forward, not completely. Exhale, wide legged down dog. Inhale, drop your knees, big toes touch. 
exhale, come back. Now, as you breathe, breathe into second chakra and really feel that you are flowing this energy through your, your body. Vinyasa, flowing with energy. It doesn't have to be a sun salutation of vinyasa. It just flows with energy, with breath. Inhale big. Exhale, wide-legged down dog. Inhale, drop onto your knees. Exhale, big toes touch. Inhale, forward. Exhale, float it back. Get that floaty feeling. Inhale, drop onto your knees. Exhale, come back. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, push up. Inhale, drop onto your knees. Exhale, big toes touch, come back. Roll from side to side quite a lot and just roll through. So imagine that pelvic basin and imagine that it is filled with water. And now you want to really get as much movement into that whole pelvic basin as possible, but you don't want the water to fall out. So you've got to keep that chakra very balanced. You've got to keep those hips very balanced. Come back up and come onto your hands and knees. So when you inhale, feel, now go into full cat, exhale, squeeze and round. That water is gonna move. Big inhale, feel it. Exhale. So you are working front and back of chakra. And now you come back into either. Now feel that you're not, that water's not spilling. So you wanna have that awareness that you're splashing this water around and then coming back into balance. Tuck your toes under and push back into down dog. Bring your right foot forward between your hands and come into that lovely wide-legged position. Breathe into it and then roll up. Let's turn our feet out. Bend your knees. So we're going to have some fun here. Bouncy, bouncy. Bring your hands in up here and we're just going to go over from side to side. Keep your knees bent. Just go over from side to side. And have your feet out. Often I don't allow you to have your feet out, but here you're allowed to be like a duck. Okay, and then twist. Keep, try and keep the knees as still as possible. Then take your hands onto your hips and get this awareness. So you're really moving here through this whole area. Good. Bring your hands back up again. Nice. Go down deeper. Deeper. Curl your tailbone side to side doesn't have to be straight legs you're just moving this whole pelvic basin you want to slosh the water from side to side and then pigeon toe and slosh the water again from side to side make a little bit more of a tabletop here as we come down keep the pigeon toe and then we're going to come onto our elbows and then we're going to go even lower so we're going to straighten a little bit more. We're going incrementally, guys. Straighten, straighten. Feel flowing energy. Flow, flow, flow. Breathe. Come back and push. Now breathe into that whole second chakra basin. Om Shrim Shrim Lakshmiye Namaha. You want abundance, abundance of health, wealth, happiness, joy, spontaneity. You want to feel and then straighten the legs, walk the palms forward, push your torso towards your thighs, pigeon toe your feet and then gently bounce. So bring your weight forward, bring it back, bring it forward, bring it back. So there's a movement going on here. It's not a huge movement, but there's a movement. Just visualize, keep visualizing you moving this beautiful golden liquid in your pelvis. And then bring the palms a little bit more forward. Keeping on tippy toes. Inhale, come forward. Bend your knees. Exhale, push back. Now you're really taking this chakra for a ride. Feel it. Feel the movement of the chakra in your body. Breathe. A few more times. Good. And then holding, drop your knees, big toes touching, push back. Rock gently from side to side. Mm. Take a big inhale and sigh it out, let it go. Mm. 
Let it go, let it flow. Feeling the sense of flow, flow, flow through your body. Openness, creativity, spontaneity. Good. Come back onto your hands and knees. Okay, inhale into cat. Exhale, push back into down dog again. Breathe. Keep it nice and firm. As you inhale into plank, you want to lift and now balance, balance. It's not down, it's not up. The chakra is completely balanced. Hold it and breathe. Beautiful. Hold it. Feel how it feels. And then come back. Open your feet the width of the mat. Rolling your hands forward and come into a wider plank. Now feel how much more freedom there is when the legs are a little bit more open. Have this awareness, guys. But don't let the belly flop or come back. You're holding that liquid. Push back. Bring the hands back. Open your legs even if you're off your mat. Come into an even wider plank feel. So I'm wanting you to really feel how second chakra opens when we do a lot of these open wide poses. Drop one knee, drop the other knee, big toes to touch and come back into your wide angled child's pose. Breathe. Nice. Come back. Bring your knees normal. Inhale into cat. Exhale, push back into regular down dog. Walk your feet the width of the mat and then walk your hands to your feet and slowly roll up. Roll your shoulders. Okay, so yeah, this is second chakra. Give a little wiggle, give a little wobble, let the hands go. Feel your whole body moving and then do little circles like you're going to do a hula hooping class. Feel this, guys. Get into it. Really feel. You're bringing this water. You're taking it around in a circle. Feel this movement of energy through your body and movement through the other side. Change the direction of your circle. Move it. Move it, move it. Isn't there a song? Move it, move it. So feel this, smile. You're awakening this energy. Now, there are three feminine chakras. Second, heart, third eye. When these chakras are open and flowing, we are creating, move, a lot of energy. So feel how different it is when we open our arms. So we're getting heart chakra energy now into this movement. Roll it, bring your arms out to the side, feel this as opposed to this. So out to the side. So I'm wanting you to get the vibrational energy of your chakras. They are alive. As we said yesterday, they are, so this is a water chakra, but it also holds the energy of the heart space, it holds the energy of the third eye, it holds the energy of the root. The chakras are layered with all the different energies. So it's predominantly water and this is what it allows us. But nothing in yoga is in a box. So really stop thinking in a box because boxes are what create us, our stories and our problems. Roll again, take your arms out to the side. Feels very different, it feels much happier, feel, than here. So feel that sense of expansion and then straighten your legs, take it over to the side and over to the side. Big inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, release. Stand with your feet wider. If you've got to change your direction on your mat, do so. So not, not very wide, but just wider than the mat. Balance your chakra, balance it, feed it. So I want you to really percolate this warmth in your chakra to get this lovely feeling of, oh yes, here's where second chakra is. I can feel it, ever wiggle. Give a wiggle, smile. This is a happy class. This is spontaneity. Bounce. And take your arms out to the side and bounce. And bounce. And breathe. And bounce. 
So dancing is wonderful for second chakra. Excellent. Very good activity for second chakra. So really get this bounce and then big inhale, exhale over, inhale up, exhale over, inhale up, exhale over, inhale up, exhale over. Good. Take your hands onto your hips, push hips forward, tabletop. Push hips forward from the whole pubic bone center, from the whole pelvic area, right deep down here. And remember, it's the bladder, it's the waters of life, it's your reproductive system that is controlled by second chakra. Kidneys, all this whole waters of your life, babies are in amniotic fluid most of the time, all of the time until they're born. So our blood is our water, our lymphatic system is our water. Each cell is created with a lot of water around it. And then bring your hands again onto your knees and then let's just go side to side. So opening, opening, opening. Good. Get your toe your feet out a little bit more and take your left foot coming into triangle. Take the tailbone down, lift the belly, bring the arms. Big inhale, exhale down. Inhale up, open. Now hinge from here, exhale down. Keep the belly firm. Inhale up, exhale down. So use the belly. Use Uliana Banda. Breathe. Really feel this lovely sense of opening. The legs are squeezing, holding. Good, and then hold it here. Squeeze an imaginary big ball between your legs. Push your back against the imaginary wall behind you. Lots of imagination here. Very good for second chakra imagination. Image in action. How do we create? We imagine something, then we create it. So the more our imaginations, the more active our imaginations, the more our creations come up and switch. What do you want to resonate with today? Is it joy? Is it fun? Is it spontaneity? Remember, it's your choice. You can look at the day and say, ah, it's not exactly how I wanted it to be. And then be angry because it's not what you wanted it to be. Or you could be saying, ah, this is what the day is. It's wonderful. And then let's go again. Triangle and then big inhale and exhale. So Michael Singer put it, Melissa sent me a lovely thing of his. He's, he's really, he's really um, been our mentor for these last few months as we've read his untethered soul cards. But like he put it, he said, if you've grown a garden and you've just planted a garden and it starts raining, you're going to be very grateful for the rain. If however you've planned a birthday party and it starts raining, you're going to be pissed at the rain. It's the rain. The rain is the rain. So, not to be pissed at the rain, to accept that the rain is raining and maybe you've got to do the birthday party inside. And it's exactly as it's meant to be. And then slowly release. We can only change our own likes, dislikes, attachments. Nobody else's. The, the world is going to present itself as it presents itself. So let it flow through you. Wiggle these hips side to side. Okay. Heel toe your feet even wider. Come into a tabletop. Bring your hands down. Now we're going to do a big, much bigger movement. So we're going to move over to our left. Stretch. Over to our right. Now try to straighten that leg as much as possible. Keep the tushy down. So if the tushy's up, you are spilling your, your golden liquid. Keep the, so don't let this liquid spill. Keep the belly firm. And just go from side to side. Move it. Move it, move it, move it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Flow, flow, flow. Good. Come back to center and push those knees apart. Really take this lovely big, big, big stretch. Opening up the whole inner thighs. Then drop your head. Pigeon toe a little bit deeper. Bring your head down. Inhale, bend your knees. Draw your torso closer to your thighs. Exhale, straighten. 
You can walk your hands through your, your torso, your, oh, that um, opening. You can hold onto the back of your legs or the side of your legs. Whatever feels good for you, just keep bending and straightening. Bending and straightening. Bending and straightening. Breathe fast. Good, and then slowly bring the palms forward and just enjoy that lovely big open stretch. Breathe. Drop one knee, drop the other knee. Big toes touching, push back into wide legged child's pose. Breathe. Okay, come up onto your hands and knees. Life flows through us. We do not flow through life. When we try to flow through life, we try to make it what we think it should be. We can't change what is. What is, is. We can allow it to flow through us, let go of our attachments, our judgments, and just simply flow. So we're going to flow now. Inhale into cat. Exhale, push back into down dog. Look towards your feet, step or walk your feet forward, fold. Firm your belly, inhale, sweep your arms up and around, and exhale, come back into prayer. Big toes touching, guys, tailbone drops, belly lifts. Yeah, this is where you want to be feel that you're not pouring the liquid out, that you're balancing, you're hinging. Just do this a few times. So you want to keep throughout the practice, unless you're doing a cobra, do you want to feel, especially like in the planks and everything, that this is nice and firm, the bundles are connected. Feel a beautiful golden sun, drawing down, inhale, bring that sun into you, bum, 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 exhale, swan dive down, inhale, lengthen, exhale, left foot comes back into lunge, stretch it out, Hold it for an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, right foot comes back. Nice and firm, guys. Don't let the water spill. Breathe. Big inhale, exhale. Knees, flatten feet, chin and chest. Here the water might spill a little bit. Inhale, up into cobra. Might go backwards. Exhale, push back into down dog. Stretch it out. Hmm. Inhale, left foot forward between your hands. Flatten, stretch, big toe. Exhale, inhale, right foot forward. Fold on the exhale. Inhale, swoop your arms up and around. And exhale, come back into breath. Check your, check your second chakra. Breathe. Take a moment. Visualize that you are allowing whatever it is in life to flow through you and then with your vibration so if you are miserable you're going to create that energy around you that second chakra if you are vibrant you're going to feel it's going to make you feel different and the body doesn't know the difference it's you that has to inform where you are what's your mindset today what is the seat of your abode big inhale open Big exhale, swan dive down. Big inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot comes back, flatten. Hold it here for a breath. We're gonna get the nice big lunge stretch. On your next inhale, take your front foot back, plank. Big inhale here, exhale, knees, chin and chest, flatten. Inhale, up into cobra. Curl your tailbone under, tuck your toes under, push. Back, down dog. Breathe. Right foot is going to come forward between your hands. Big inhale. Left foot is going to come forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up and around. And exhale, come back. Good. Big inhale, open. Big exhale, swan dive down. Big inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left foot comes back and flattens, coming into Virabhadrasana. Inhale, open. Exhale, hold it here. 
breathe. Now, don't let that pelvis move forward. Lift. Where's the balance between the front and the back? That's really where Uriana Bandha comes into it. Good. Hold it here. Breathe. Big inhale. Exhale. Stretch. Drop your right arm. Stretch your left arm over. Breathe, guys. Curl your tailbone down. Big inhale. Exhale. Take it to the other side. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Inhale up. Exhale. Open your arms out completely. Lift your chest. Curl your tailbone. And invite life in. Invite it in. Turn your head up. You are strong. You are powerful. Invite it in. Invite in the vibrational frequency you want to attune yourselves to. Big inhale, exhale, come down. Step it back into down dog. Stretch it out. Breathe. Mm. Bring your left foot forward between your hands, flatten your right foot, and inhale up. Breathe, guys. Curl your tailbone. Really feel. Drop over to the side. Breathe. Watch that you are balanced in your second chakra. Come up, inhale. Exhale over to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up, exhale over. Good. Open. Open your heart. Turn your palms up. Lift your chest. Curl your tailbone. Invite in. Vam, vam, vam. Orange. Vam. Um shrim shrim nakshmiye. Abundance. Creativity. Joy. Spontaneity. Big inhale. Exhale down. You come, come back into your down dog. Keep the belly nice and firm. Inhale into up dog. Exhale, push back into down dog. Inhale into up dog. Exhale, push back into down dog. Inhale into up dog. Drop your knees, flatten your feet and slowly push back into <coughs> wide-legged child's pose. Mm, breathe. Slowly come up, sit on your tushies. Okay, lift your chest, drop your knees from side to side. Just really get that wonderful awareness. Okay, now you're going to drop your knees over to the left. We're going to open this leg a little bit more. You want to feel, guys, the movement, not only in your heart, but very much in your second chakra. So you're going to inhale, lift the arm up. On the exhale, squeezing the belly. Take the palm to the baby foot, the big toe. Now roll these, this whole area around. Watch your palm and roll it around and come back again. Exhaling down and inhaling up. So feel the circle that you're creating with your hips. We did hula hooping. I'm wanting you to take it deeper now into this whole pelvic area. Keep the belly firm. Feel yourself moving this area, moving it. Opening up, creating the space. Good, and then pause. Then lift your arm, we're gonna come the other way. So you're gonna exhale, big toe, baby toe, lift. Roll. So you've even got to take this hip and roll it. Roll these hips. Take all your focus on your hips and how you are rolling them. How you are moving them. Breathe. Smile. Enjoy it. Open up. Let your energy flow. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Feel it, guys. You, 
it, it sounds so easy, like, oh, yes, I invite him, but that's all it is. It's so simple. If you listen to Michael Singer speak, it's so simple. It's not complicated. So what do you choose to align with? What is the seat of your abode? What is the, the self that is within you? And then slow. Actually, let's stay here and just lift our tushies up and open our hearts. It feels good. And then slowly come down. Change. And drop the knees from side <coughs> to side. And then drop them over to the other side. Have quite an opening here so that you could... If it's too close, you're not going to have this opening in your hips. And you really, really, really want to feel this whole movement. So just do this. It's this free fall. There's no structure here. I want you to feel. Just, and then move it in the other direction. So this is what you want to get when you're doing the circles. You want to get this movement in your hips. So big inhale here. Exhale, baby toe, big toe. Round. Follow your palms so that you want to move those hips. And enjoy it, guys. Feel that you're getting in here. You're going to be able to go to and have a, um, to, we should all do twisting and rock and roll parties today. So crank the music up and really move those hips. Especially us children of the 50s and 60s. Let's let our youth come back today. So have a, have a dancing party today. Do something silly. Don't always have to be so serious. And then pause. We're going to take it the other way. Big inhale, exhale, big toe, baby toe, round. It's your choice. You can thank the rain for watering the plants, or you can curse the rain because you can't go outside. It's still the rain. It's not going to change. It is what it is. How much are you going to let it flow through you? How much are you going to create an energy of acceptance, abundance, creativity with that. You can find other creative ways of being with the rain. Take your hands behind you and lift up. Breathe. Slowly release. Bring the soles of your feet together. How big can you make this movement? Rock from side to side. The legs are nice and open. The second chakra is nice and open. So it's a big inhale. And exhale, lovely, big, big movements. Big. Keep breathing it, guys. Keep the belly nice and firm. Feel the energy. Enjoy the energy. Breathe. And then go to the other direction. listen to that little one. You know, isn't it funny when we hear a child, no, 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 mama, dada, baba, abba, you know, we, it may, immediately makes us smile. Why? Because the energy is just, the child is so spontaneous. The child is so real. We need to learn from the children, guys. See, so in the Bible even, take your left leg out, your right foot in. Okay. Now, twisting from the belly, really just squeeze and give a lovely twist here, all the way down. So it's a belly twist, all the way down. Nice, breathe into it. Okay, now, balance. So you don't want your belly pooched, you don't want your belly back, you want it balanced. So this chakra is nice and balanced, you're pushing into left hip, and then slowly release. Bring your palm to face down, palm face up, Lift, palm, hand down, palm face up, lift your chest. Big inhale, exhale over. Now we're going to do quite a big movement here. Inhale and stretch it all the way over to the side. Exhale, come down. Inhale and stretch it. So you get really getting into this hip. Stretch it. You can even bend this elbow, this right elbow a little bit. Exhale, come down. Inhale and stretch it, guys. Keep the belly firm. Exhale, down. Inhale and stretch, stretch, stretch and hold it here. Push that hip down and really give it a good stretch. Flex your <clears throat> left foot. Lift your belly up towards your heart. Big inhale. 
exhale, take it over to the other side. Now you're getting the stretch through the side. So you really want to target this area here. It's low down. It's really by your tushy area, which is where we can open this through a lot of side stretches. We open up the ability of second chakra also to be more open. And then slowly come up. Bend your knee and just sit for a moment. Bring your hands into prayer. Breathe into second chakra. So we've, we, we've moved a lot in this class. So I want you just to sit still and feel that there's still movement. Have this awareness of your second chakra. Breathe. Have the awareness that one side of you has moved and the other hasn't. Smile. Be okay with that. Be okay with whatever life throws you. Okay, now I'm going to completely throw you. Take the same leg out. No, 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 I want to go to the other side. No, this is okay. This is where it is. Turn yourself to face this leg and down you come. Notice your reactions with no judgment. Did you really want to go so badly to the other side that you're not going to enjoy this stretch now? Or is it like, ah, it's okay, it's fine. This is just a little example that just we need to notice, be cognizant of our reactions to things, how we react to what's happening around us. One lady can be stuck at a, at a robot or a traffic light and say, oh good, time to put on my lipstick, and another one can curse. I'd rather be the one that puts on my lipstick, not that I wear lipstick, but that's where we want to be. We want to be the way we take opportunities when life offers us, where we create our own happiness. And then slowly release, come down, and now sit and feel. Are you okay if I had to leave you and not do this other side? I smile. Be honest. Like, oh, ah, how much is it going to really, really, really get you? <laughs> Have a good laugh at yourself, guys. No, we need to, we need to. Do we really? Come onto your hands and knees. Oh, are you going to trust me to do the other side? Or are you just going to carry on flowing with me? Let's think about it. Inhale into cat. Exhale, push back into down dog. Smile. Oh my goodness, now feel. You are off center. Too wonderful. Let's bring ourselves back to center. Inhale into up dog. Exhale, push back. Choose to be okay. Choose to be okay. Really choose to be okay with not doing the other side. Really choose to be okay. And if your mind is fighting with you and saying, Oh my God, is Patsy really not going to do the other side? <laughs> notice your reactions, guys. Just notice. And then come onto your hands and knees. Right shoulder forward, left shoulder forward, right shoulder forward, left shoulder forward, lift up. Curl your tailbone. Bring your big toes to touch your knees apart. Push back. Breathe. Rock from side to side. All right, come back, sit on your twishy. Don't sneak in and do the other side without me, okay? Open your legs wide. <laughs> ah, give a little wiggle. Give a little wobble. Wobble from side to side. Wobble from side to side. And then over and over and over and over. And take your hands behind you and lift. Open those legs as wide as possible and hinge. So the hinge is right down here low by the hips. Breathe and hinge. Answer yourselves truthfully. And it's okay. If you have a problem with it, be okay with having a problem with it. It's okay. How much would it really, really piss you off if we didn't do the other side? <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> Take a big laugh, guys. Laugh at yourself. Look at how much awareness we put into having everything in a box. We shouldn't be in a box. Rock from side to side. I know I'm killing you. Am I going to do it or aren't I going to do it? Oh, I'm not even sure myself, actually, at this point in time, whether I'm going to do it or whether I'm not going to do it. Good. Walk your feet. Walk your hands, let me give you a mini one. Walk your hands over to your right side. Push your left hip down. Just smile. You're getting second chakra opening, so that's all that matters. Walk your hands back through center 
and take it back to the other side. And then come back up again and grin. Take your hands behind you, close your eyes. Vam, 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 vam. Okay, stay here. I want you to imagine. Don't do it. In fact, bring your soles of your feet together so that you can't do it. Imagine that your right leg is out to the side and that your left foot is in, in the position of Janu Sasasana. Now, close your eyes and truly, truly, truly imagine it. You're not doing it, you're imagining it. Okay, now feel. Feel that you're doing it. Then you're going to turn your palm up and you're going to do the movement and you're going to imagine it. So you're going to inhale over to the, to the right side and exhale, you're going to bend your left arm and bring your right arm over. Now imagine it guys, inhale over to the left. You can let your body move just a little bit to maybe help you with the left and the right. Not a lot, just a fraction of a millimeter or an inch. Move it side to side and I feel the stretch. Feel the stretch on either side of your hips. Imagine yourself doing it. This is held in place, by the way. So they do one side and imagine the other, just to show you how powerful your mind is, how powerful your intentions are. You're doing it, you're actually getting the benefits. Now drop onto your left arm and stretch through that whole right side and feel, 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 feel. And then come back to the other side and feel, feel, feel. So you're stretching the left side of your body. Come back, you're not moving your feet, but imagine yourself sitting again in the cross leg position. Imagine it, sense it, feel it, connect with it. Then take your right leg out and bring yourself over your right leg. You're not actually doing it, you just imagine. You are just imagining yourself doing this. Now because your right leg is out, bring and your left foot is in, bring your right foot in front of your left and sit. Now, how does it feel? How does it feel now that we haven't done the one side, but we have really done it because the body thinks that we've done it because we've imagined it. Just feel, guys. I'm going to demonstrate this to you one more way of how powerful our thoughts are, how powerful our awareness is. So keep sitting as you are. Take your right hand onto your left knee and your left hand behind you. Now, look at something behind you as you twist, okay? So kind of have like a point. This is how far I've twisted. Now, close your eyes and in your mind's eye, Visualize yourself going like at least four or five or six times further. Then twist the body and open and you're going to see that the body has gone automatically much further through the imagination. And then slowly come back. This poor right side is getting a little bit left out, but don't worry. Now we're going to do the same thing with the right side. We're going to twist. Spot. Now just don't think of anything. Think of green trees and purple flowers and pink and blue and smile. And now squeeze and see how less far back you go. Our thoughts, the energy that we move with is what determines the energy inside of us guys. It's not, we are not fixed. We create, and especially through the second chakra, that we create this beautiful flow of energy. So really, really, really feel this. Breathe into it. And now we're not going to do the other side. So you're going to be perfectly okay because you did it in your mind's eye. Okay. Let's take our knees. 
And if you're not, then it is what it is and be okay with what it is and smile and laugh. And notice, notice how set we are in our ways and how we have to find the fluidity of second chakra. Inhale into cat, exhale push back into down dog, stretch it out. Inhale into plank, exhale push back into down dog. Inhale into up dog, exhale push back into down dog. Inhale knees drop, exhale child's pose. Inhale up your right side, really pushing that hip out, exhale down your left. Let's go through two more times in the right. Inhale, up the right, really pushing it out. Exhale, down the left. Inhale, up the right. Exhale, down the left. Then the other way. Inhale, up the left and down the right. Keep the belly firm. Inhale, up the left and exhale, down the right. And one more time. Inhale, up and exhale, down. Come back into child's pose and rock gently from side to side. Breathe. Feel. Connect. Beautiful. And slowly come up. So taking your blankets, we're going to come into Supta Baddha Konasana. If you've got two cushions or something that you can use, or as many props as you can, I want you to make that... Like bolster, if you've got a bolster, beautiful. If you don't have a bolster, you have to make one. Make it as high as you can. Now you've got choices here. You can bring the cushion here by your heart center. You can maybe fold it over. Or you can fold, so you've got your this, you can fold. If you've got a bolster, you put a cushion here. So your back is going to go here. Your heart chakra is going to go here. We're coming into goddess pose, which is true second chakra beauty, okay? And because we're all goddesses and we forget, and gods. So it's going to go like this, guys. You're going to have a cushion behind your head because you want your shoulders on the floor. And you want your chest lifted. So whichever way you can get this with whichever props you've got. You all know the pose. And then opening your heart, bringing your head, and then bringing the soles of your feet together. If you've got anything to wedge underneath your thighs, do so, otherwise just let your thighs drop. Your thighs don't have, your heels don't have to be very close to you. You want to feel the opening of these three feminine chakras. The second chakra, the heart, the third eye. So make yourself comfortable, move into the pose. Breathe now, guys. Breathe into it. Really feel life flowing through you. So as you breathe into the second chakra that's open, feel that it is being supported by your heart center that is open as well and by the intuition of the third eye. What do you want to align yourself with today? What energy? Om Shrim Shrim Lakshmi A Namaha. Om Shrim Shrim Lakshmi A Namaha. Om Shrim Shrim Lakshmi A Namaha. This beautiful, beautiful goddess governs the second chakra. She is pure beauty. Beauty. She's beautiful in every aspect. And not an external beauty, an internal beauty, a beauty of softness of grace, of abundance, of health, of vitality. Om Shrim Shrim Lakshmi Namaha. So this resonance that you want, you want to let the, the serpent release, you want to let the energy of the goddess move up, Shakti, the goddess, move up. All goddesses are, in, in the mythologies, are one, but they come in different aspects of them. So. This is the goddess in her abundance aspect, okay? And as that energy moves up through your chakras, you are bringing creation to creator. Through the space of your heart, through the opening of your heart, through the beauty of your heart. So open your hearts and let this energy 
move up. Use gentle, gentle bundles to move this energy up your spine and to feel that as the energy comes through your heart, it is filled with so much love, so much beauty, so much connection. As it moves up into the third eye, it is filled with intuition, with knowing. You know that it feels, you know what it feels like when you are in harmony with the universe. When your resonance is in harmony with the universe, when you are flowing. And if you think of most of the major events in your life, you haven't really had to do anything. You've just kind of been in the flow and suddenly you've landed somewhere or suddenly you've turned a corner and you've met someone who's incredibly important in your life. Life flows through us. So visualize this magnificent stream of golden consciousness that flows effortlessly through us. Visualize the beautiful moon above you and let that moon illuminate your way. The, the moon illuminates the darkness. So let all the places that hold you back be completely illuminated by the magnificence of the moon. Feel your second chakra completely flooded with this moonlight and feel all the waters in your body completely resonating with this illumination, with this creativity, with this manifestation. And this is why the Schumann's resonance is increasing so during this time of lockdown, because everybody is being much stiller. There's more space for connection to self. There are more light beams really awakening and bringing energy into the world. If you think of yourselves, you've done more yoga in these last few weeks than you've done in a long time. Every day you've committed to your practice. It changes us. It illuminates us. It brings us to a different resonance. And so with, with our practice, we want to continue that resonance. We want to continue to manifest more and more of that higher vibrational energy. The energy of pure, pure, unconditional love, bliss, acceptance, joy, inner knowing. So as you breathe into your bodies now, feel, feel this incredible, incredible awareness. Be the goddess. Breathe into those three chakras, breathe into all your chakras, feel the energy moving up your spine. Feel yourself aligning yourself with pure joy, pure spontaneity. And see if you can bring that energy into your day today. Let it be a day of spontaneity. Do something crazy. Dance. Crank the music up. Don't be set that everything has to be as it is. Life can change in a split second. So be awake, be aware, be open to those shifts. Be aware of the omens that present themselves to you today. Maybe you really need to focus in more on the birds today, or the butterflies, or the flowers, or even that rock and roll song. What is it telling you? Be aware of what presents itself to you today and let it be one of complete and utter joy. So breathe this golden light into you guys and feel, feel this magnificence, this beautiful, beautiful energy of pure, pure golden light. Om Shrim Shrim Lakshmi Namaha Om Shrim Shrim Lakshmi Namaha Om Shrim Shrim Lakshmi Namaha Mmm, feel it. Vam, vam, vam. Gently in your own mind, pulsate this chakra of pure joy. Vam, vam, vam. Feel that beautiful orange Shvadisana Chakra. Vam, 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 vam. Shrim Shrim Lakshmi Namaha. Om Shrim Shrim Lakshmi Namaha. Om Shrim Shrim Lakshmi Vaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Swamis wear orange, the seat of the soul, the seat of our abode, our movement of creation to creator. So you can feel more of the lightness of this frequency of Shvaristana. It's lighter. But remember that each and every one of the chakras are layered with all the energy. So they're not in boxes. We want to move out the boxes, guys. We want to move into that ocean of joy, of bliss, of abundance, of creativity. How creative with your day can you be today? How creative. And don't let it be a stress. Just whatever shows up. And it can be as silly as possible. And in fact, the sillier, the better. So lighten up. This chakra is a chakra of lightening up very 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 slowly you're going to bring your awareness now and you're going to breathe into your fingertips you're going to breathe into your toes you're going to stretch through the fingertips you're going to stretch through the toes you're going to bring an amazing awareness of all of this light flowing through you and enjoy it really enjoy awakening this body feel it enjoy it know that where you take your visualizations is so powerful. So visualize this super wonderful energy flowing through every part of you. Wriggle, wriggle, and then take a lovely big, big, big stretch. Huge stretch. And smiling and feeling that joy. Hug your knees. Squeeze. Squeeze your knees. Give them a wonderful hug. Really enjoy the hug. Roll over onto your right sides. And just cocoon for a moment in this fetal position. Mm, smiling, smiling, smiling. And then slowly bringing yourself to a seated position. Bringing your hands into prayer to your hearts. Bowing your heads to your hearts. Feeling your chakras and feeling especially Shvadisthana chakra. Allow this energy to lead you into the most super, super wonderful day. Thank you, my darlings. Namaste.